Hi everyone, George Crum here with another of the Fish Alaska Vlog series. Today we're going to be talking about boat accessories to help you with your fishing and this will be part one of a three-part series. I'll start by talking about some of the stuff I have here in the back of the boat which makes my life a lot easier, especially if I have a number of people fishing with me. And I'll start, oh, I'll start with these lead trays. These are made by Fish Fighter Products and a lot of different companies make similar lead tra trays. I like these because there's got to be at least 20 pounds of lead in this thing and it's stout. I mean, I've been using it for several years and it hasn't gotten wonky or wobbly or started to come apart. Also, you notice that a lot of times with our lead balls, the numbers get worn off of them over time. You don't know whether that's a six or a four or whatever. One of the nice things about the Fish Fighter lead tray is it's got a hole. And if it fits in the hole, it won't fit in the three, so that's a four, no doubt. It's a nice feature. And I've got two of these. This is for my lighter uh, applications like hover fishing or back bouncing, that sort of thing. This one on the end is just odds and ends. And this one has larger lead balls in it that I use for trolling, especially when I'm trolling big flashers and that sort of thing. Now, everybody who has a boat has tools. And what I, what I find necessary is a pair of scissors, and I actually have three of them in my tool caddy here. And this is made by Rough River Marine, who is no longer in business, but this is a good tool caddy. It's really tough. It fits over the rubber gunnel um, that a lot of the sled type boats have. I can put it anywhere in the boat where I have a rubber gunnel. And it's heavy enough that even if I'm driving down the highway at 70 miles an hour, None of this stuff blows out. It stays right there the entire time. A pair of pliers, of course. This one's made by Casking, not a bad set of pliers. This is one of my new favorite sets of pliers, especially when I'm fishing for halibut or any other fish that are toothy and or take the hook deeply. It's a bent pair of pliers from Mustad. Uh, it's really handy, and this particular tool block can handle the bent nose of these. And last but not least, one of my favorite things about this tool caddy as it's got a knife holder and the knife holder extends down several inches so you can take a, a small fillet knife or a bait knife and stick it in here without having to worry about the blade being exposed down here underneath the tool caddy so it's kind of a safety feature really nice product the next item I'll talk about you can't buy but you can make this is simply a piece of I think it's three quarter or one inch dowel I took a stainless steel cup hook a fairly good sized one I drilled a hole in the end of this and then I put some epoxy in there and screwed this in place. And what I use this for is releasing fish that I don't intend to keep, I can't keep legally, or that are too small. It's really easy to use. Basically what you do is you grab your leader with the fish down here, imagine that's the water, grab your leader, slide the hook onto the line, push it down to the bend of the hook, and then you simply lower your left hand, lift your right hand, the, the hook turns upside down, the fish falls off. This thing works really good for releasing fish with a minimum amount of handling. No netting, none of that kind of stuff. So it works good. You can make that yourself. The next thing that I'll talk about back here are rod holders and rod holder systems. And I have a variety of different types of equipment on the boat. I'll start with the biggest and most obvious. This is a fish fighter fillet table. Other companies make fillet tables too, like fishing products. This one is designed to fit into the fish fighter products universal sliders it's easy it's at a nice height so I'm not bent over when I'm cleaning fish it's pretty easy it's got little holes in the corner so blood and guts can can go out and in my boat I happen to have a washdown pump right here if you're gonna order a boat over about 20 feet I highly recommend you have at least one washdown pump in your boat so I can rinse everything off when I'm done clean it up and put it away and one of the nice things about this fish fighter thing is it doesn't have to stay here it's really easy to remove Simply lift up on it, the, leg, the legs fold in like that, and fold, it, fold the back down. And you can either store this between the seat and the side of the boat, or what I do is I put it up in my big fish box up in the bow of the boat. So it's out of the way, and I just get it out when I need it. Okay, speaking of rod holder brackets, universal sliders, and that sort of thing, it's really helpful to be able to place rod holders wherever you want on the boat. And you can see how easy this fishing slider moves on this rubble gunner gu gunnel guard. It's very easy, but 
put a rod hold in there and put some tension on the line and this thing will not move. It will not move unless you physically grab it and force it to move. So it seems like it wouldn't stay, but they do. Once there's tension on there, they don't move. The Fish Fighter makes a similar product that fits on the, the gunnel for theirs. This one happens to have their, their uh, I forget what this bracket is called, but this is what their rod holder rod risers go into, kind of like this with the Fish Ang product. Theirs go in there like that. This is a Fish Ang one down here in the bottom. It goes in like this. It's kind of handy because when I'm fishing out the back, let's say I have four or five people with me, I've got rods going out the sides of the boat like a porcupine. I've got to put a rod for me out somewhere. This is nice because everything's kind of low back here, but this raises everything above, even above where the kicker motor would be if I had it tilted down and I can fish this. This, of course, is on that rubber, rubber gunnel guard and I can slide it wherever I want to, to use it however I want. Let's take a look at another a more complete setup here. Here we have a rod holder with a Fish Fighter Products uh, tackle tender here. And this has some unique things. First of all, you're gonna run five miles to the next spot. You can put your rod in here like this. You can take your trolling sinker or whatever you happen to be using, drop it in that tray like that. Notice the big 11 inch flasher. I can stick in one of these slots like this. If you're using a smaller flasher or a triangle slot flasher, it can go in this slot in your bait or lure can go in this tray right here, fit a, easily fit a green label cup plug here, maybe even a blue label one. So that's it, and when it's time to fish, once people are used to these things, it's really easy to remove the rod from the system. Grab your weight, grab your flasher. Let's imagine the boat's in motion. I'm gonna drop my bait in first, then I'm gonna drop my flasher in, then I'm simply gonna drop my weight in like that, but not have it tipped, wrapped around the tip like that. There we go, now we're fishing. And of course, for me, you gotta have a rod holder of some kind attached to this thing. And I like Fulby rod holders. And this one's on a, an eight inch extension. It's pretty easy to use. Um, the deal with Fulbies is they open up really easy if they've been lubricated properly. This one's really easy. I can do it with a finger or a thumb. But it opens like a clamshell. The trigger of your rod goes in one of these two holes, the one closest to you. And then it's fishing. And as easy as it is to open that, when a fish grabs this, it ain't going nowhere. It, that rod is not gonna come out of there. The only way a rod comes out of here is a human taking it out or human error by not putting it in correctly. So Fulbies are my favorite. If I get a fish, all I have to do is lift up in front of and behind the rod holder so that the rod handle contacts these two places at the same time and it pops right open. I can do it with one hand easily. I've seen people yanking on these things and having a real hard time. They can't get it open. Well, you just got to make sure that you're putting pressure on both ends of the rod hole and it works real good. You can lock these too, and if you lock them, you're not going to get it open. Nothing's going to get it open. So that's it for the tackle tray. Next, we're going to be talking about some of the systems I use to store tackle when I'm on my boat. And I have a, a bad habit of having way more tackle than I need on any given day. <laughs> 